Hello, this is Edith Meyer, and I am the author of the book, The Mystery of Adam. Well, today I want to talk about a topic which has um, been coming up over and over and over. And that is about Willow Creek and Bill Hyples. Now, I have followed Willow Creek for many years. And I have always thought that Willow Creek um, is a really good church. I have not listened to Bill, Bill Hyples very much. I'm impressed about how they involved women in the church and how they uh, involved women equally in the ministry in the church. And so I have also attended some of the leadership um, conferences that um, also were really started by Bill Hyples. And so I was always um, pretty uh, positive about Willow Creek. Now, I am not a person that supports mega churches. And well, when I want to check out what really happened at Willow Creek, then that may be the point, actually, to start. Willow Creek is nothing but a mecca church, and it is still hierarchically um, organized. It is still an institution coming out of this evangelical, out of an evangelical background. And so when we start there, then we can better understand what really went wrong with, um, you know, Willow Creek. Obviously, people looked at Bill Hypel as this great guy, putting him up on a pedestal that uh, started this mega church and, and had this great, um, you know, marketing um, skill how to reach you know, lost people. And really, that's what you can say, too. Um, you know, he was this charismatic leader who knew exactly how to reach people uh, and bring them back into the church. I know that these um, skills and these ways of bringing people in, um, they were marketed all over the United States. Matter of fact, all over the world. Okay, there are Willow Creek affiliations all over the world. Okay, people all over, all over the world, evangelical churches were learning from Willow Creek about everything how to handle church, especially how to conduct the service, the music, um, you know, basically everything. And out of Willow Creek, came some uh, pretty, you know, godly, um, what we think, godly, uh, spirit-filled um, leaders. And, of course, one of these um, leaders, uh, or the wife of one of these leaders, uh, and I'm talking about Ortberg, um, something went wrong with uh, Bill Hyples and... Um, is Orberg's wife, Nancy. I think her name is Nancy. And I just find it really, really strange. And I've been doing some, some a little bitty research. But it seems like when this first came out, when I first heard about this, um, and that was in the spring of this year, 2018, I was like, no, this can't be. This, this is just, this is impossible. I mean, how can Bill Hyples, I mean, why would he be so stupid to jeopardize, you know, his career or not necessarily his career, but 
and you know his reputation, his reputation as this great、um, you know pastor. But I guess that、um, these pastors、um, sometimes don't think themselves,、um, and maybe they are just. I don't know. Human beings like the rest of us, and so I think many things、uh, probably went wrong.、Um, now I still really don't know what truly happened. I mean, what kind of awful, awful thing that he did? I hear lots of oh inappropriateness. For instance, he invited a woman. Um, you know, to、uh, his、uh, motel or、uh, hotel room. Um, I don't even know if that ever, you know, if she ever went, and if she did, she's stupid enough to go. Um, and then just little little things. You know, it's it's not anything. The only worst thing that、uh, was actually pinned on him was that he had an affair. With a married woman, and that married woman said, "No, it didn't happen." Okay, so she actually came back and said, "No, no, that never happened." She just said that because she was angry with him. So all these other women that came out, you know, I really, really don't know、um, what really, really happened. I wasn't there, and it seems nobody was there. So nobody had any. I mean, there is no、um, backup of any anybody's claim. So at first, Willow Creek, you know, was on that side. They were they wanted to be neutral, and they wanted to、um, not take anybody's side because there was no evidence that this any any of these things happened. But it seems like from like the spring. To just recently,、um, more happened at Willow Creek, and so they came to the conclusion that they would support the women that came for, forth with the allegations. So it came to the point where、uh, first the lead、uh, pastor left, and then. Um, the uh, uh, executive pastor left as as well, and all the elders left. Now, again, I still really, really don't know what happened at Willow Creek. Okay, I cannot condemn or even judge、um, Bill Hypels because I don't know. I wasn't there. Nobody. There's no witnesses to say. What really happened? Now, the board, the elders, and the pastors, they apologize to the women, which makes it look like Bill Hypels did really something wrong. Okay, and if he was inappropriate, okay, he was inappropriate. Um, you know what? It was only Bill Hypel to apologize. Okay. Um, but I guess under the pressure, the the elders resigned, all the elders, and the two new pastors resigned. So now they have an interim pastor. So here is the big thing that I see. There's several things. Number one, can I trust either one, Bill Hypels or the women? Okay. Why did these women not speak out right away, and why did they not leave the church when something like that happened? It is always bad to wait. I don't know how many years these women waited, um, and um, why now? Why now? After Bill Hypels was has decided to retire. Why are they now,、uh, you know, coming out? It just, for me, it does not 
uh, make any sense. Okay. Now I understand that I'm sure Bill Hypo was not, um, you know, perfect, and I'm quite sure that Bill Hypo um, made just as many mistakes as everybody else, and that's sometimes actually what we cannot understand. That these people, these charismatic leaders, um, we put them on a pedestal and we don't understand that maybe they are just as human as everybody else, okay? And so that is what my main concern about Willow Creek is and always was. That it is nothing but an institution and it has an, a hierarchy, okay? And because it is a, has a hierarchy, these thing, things can happen very easily. We put a person on a pedestal, like I said, and people, um, you know, are not thinking. They're not thinking and saying, hey, I'm holding myself and everybody else accountable. Okay. We are too trustful of these people that look like godly men or godly women. And so accountability that is needed is not in place. Now, here's the question, Bill Hypo's wife. I don't know if Bill Hypo's wife um, has not detected anything in this matter. I cannot imagine that his own wife did not know her husband well enough to know what is going on. You know, hopefully when all this dies down, um, that maybe she will speak out. Uh, I just hope so. Now, right now, everything is kind of fresh and nobody can expect anybody to do anything. But for me, it is very sad how these women were um, kind of looked at as these victims and that these women, in a sense, I mean, if there's really something horrible been going on, abuse or whatever, of course, I want justice to be done. But if it's just little uh, things like, Oh, he asked me to come to his, uh, you know, hotel room. And just say no, for goodness sakes. You know better, okay? Um, that, for me, that just, um, for me, just that doesn't do it. And, and if it was really something bad, let somebody know. Let somebody know. Don't do it like this, uh, um, this, backstabber and, and wait, um, you know, several years to stab a, a person in the back. Um, I, I, I see that as something very, very wrong. And I, I think maybe there is something that women can really start is on this um, backstabbing um, mentality that's lately happening. Um, I was doing some research and I came across this me too movement. Wow, of all things, right? And I didn't know anything about this me too movement. And, and this move, me too movement was started in Hollywood to expose these bad men who are trying to um, supposedly lure in these women uh, to have sexual, um, you know, encounters um, uh, in order to give them certain privileges, you know, in Hollywood, you know, film positions or whatever. And this Me Too movement is now moving, I mean, all through, you know, the workplace in that women are encouraged to come out and speak about harassment in the workplace. Now, I know this harassment thing has been going on for a long time that, um, you know, people are encouraged to bring out this harassment. But with this Me Too movement, it becomes even uh, stronger uh, than ever before. 
And some people think that this Me Too movement um, or this event that's happening at, at Willow Creek um, is also part of this Me Too movement, okay, or a section or part of this Me Too movement in just coming out and speaking out about, oh, how uh, me as a woman uh, felt so uncomfortable someplace. I have felt uncomfortable many times. Matter of fact, I can tell you right now that since I was a little girl, okay, I have been put in places by people, relatives, um, in, in awkward sexual, um, you know, places, um, inappropriate touching, um, and and, and this has, you know, continued all through my life. And one thing I have learned is to be very careful around men and um, make very, very um, good, I mean, take precaution. Um, and, and I don't want to offend any men right now at all. None. Okay. And it's just. Not all men are like that, but we have to be on guard that there are men that may want to take advantage of um, this situation. You know, you being a woman and they want to take advantage of you sexually. Now, here's also the other side. There's also many women that want or that will um, seduce men. Um, to have sexual encounters, okay? So it's not just coming from these men, but it's also coming from women. And nobody seems to really address that situation, that this is also coming from women. So it's a difficult, a difficult, difficult thing. And I, again, still don't know exactly what happened there, okay? Of course, trust has been broken. Trust has been broken. But then again, maybe people just trusted Bill Hyples too much, okay? People just trusted Bill Hyples too much and did not understand that Bill Hyples is nothing but a human being, okay? He has just as many flaws as any other human beings, and I'm not protecting him at all, okay? So as a woman, as a woman, I have just as much responsibility. I cannot put myself into this victim mentality, okay? In this victim mentality and say, oh, poor me, I was just that poor woman that somebody took advantage of. Uh, I just don't believe in that. I believe that I have to take responsibility for my life. And I have to protect myself uh, in situations that I'm putting myself in. And if I know that there's a situation that is not appropriate, that I need to get out of that situation and that I need to face that person and say, hey, not with me. Okay? and. I believe that is the way things need to be addressed. You need to address it directly with that person. Now, unfortunately, women many times are not as assertive as they should be. And maybe that's where they need to be working on their assertiveness instead of thinking I'm a victim. Being assertive and standing up and saying, that's not appropriate. Let's not go there. Now, I know one of the ladies that accused Bill Hyples was Nancy Ort Ortberg. And I don't see her very much as this um, passive woman. I believe she is a pretty assertive woman. And I have seen, I looked at actually some of her videos just lately because I wanted to see who she is. She does not come across to me as this innocent 
woman who cannot speak out for herself. And especially with her um, husband, who I think his name is John Orberg, who speaks quite a lot as well. Her and her husband are, are very popular speakers. And um, I know uh, her husband is also an author and has written lots of books. So they're both pretty outspoken. And I cannot imagine that they cannot or could not directly go to Bill Hypo and say, hey, you're stepping out of line. The Bible teaches us that if we have something against one of our brothers or sisters, that we should directly go to that person, take two other witnesses with us, and speak to that person. Okay? It clearly tells us that we should not be going into public. Okay? Into public with our uh, problems, with the pro problems we're having. And it looks like this was done. It was taken into the public arena. And of course, it was smeared all over um, the, um, the newspapers and the magazines. And I believe that was very, very wrong, very wrong. And it very harmed, it harmed not only Willow Creek, but it also harmed the Christian church in general. Which, again, I don't think um, is such a, I shouldn't say it's such a bad thing. Because you know what? Um, I think the church needs to wake up. And not just Willow Creek. Okay? This is hopefully a wake-up call for all churches. Okay? For all churches. And not only because of what some certain leaders can do uh, and how we maybe shouldn't give them all the trust uh, that they are getting, but also maybe the way the church is organized has a lot to do with what happened at Willow Creek. Okay, um, It is just a mega church. And it is very hard to oversee everything, okay? It is just very, very hard. And Bill Hypels was very, very uh, successful, uh, reaching a lot of people for Christ. And it could have been also used by Satan to not only bring Bill Hypels down and bring his credibility down, but also the church's credibility. And all these people that came forward, um, all these women that came forward, um, I'm not sure if they really thought about what they were doing and, and what they were doing, not only to Willow Creek, um, but also um, to the church in general. And I think that's what I'm also concerned about. I'm not protecting, I don't want to protect Bill Hypos for what he has done or not done, because I don't know. Okay. But I know what these women did and how this was not a trust addressed appropriately according to the scripture. Paul would have never, ever allowed or give permission for anything like this to uh, be addressed in public, okay? That just was not um, his way of doing. Now, I know we have to speak up. I know uh, we cannot allow inappropriate things happening in the church. And I know Paul had to address inappropriate things in the church of Corinth when he says that a man was actually... Um, I think he was saying sleeping with his father's wife. Now, how inappropriate is something like that? And he addressed it and he said, kick such a person out. Okay. If you want to look it up, um, it's very easy to find. I think it's in Corinthians. And 
But in the second letter, this guy repented and they, Paul accepted, uh, accepted him in the church again. Okay. So there is this thing about, hey, inappropriateness, but also, hey, when somebody repents, we're going to take them back. Very important. Now, this, this whole situation with Willow Creek, I cannot see that it was really done the way it was supposed to be done. And again, Willow Creek is not really um, a church that Paul would have approved or would approve. Okay? Paul would not approve Willow Creek in the way it's organized. Willow Creek is very, very organized, very worldly. It's an institution. It's still modeled according to the Roman Catholic Church with a hierarchy. And I still believe that that is really, um, or with it was a, a big downfall of what really happened in Willow Creek. And yes, it should be a, a wake-up call for all the other churches and put things in place, okay? Uh, that this stuff cannot happen. And maybe, hopefully, it's a wake-up call for, for many pastors. So they will put things in place that will protect them from something like this ever happen, from these allegations, um, that there's always going to be um, accountability Again, um, I can just only say this to women. Um, be careful what you're doing. Be careful. Because I, as a woman, cannot constantly act like a victim. If I'm a victim too often, then people should ask, what have you learned? from what has happened to you and what are you going to change next time, okay? And how should these women have dealt with this situation differently? I just cannot accept um, the way these women dealt with this situation. And I believe it was the Ortbergs that brought this to uh, the public you know, the public's attention, which I don't believe was right at all, right at all. So I want to finish up today. And again, you know, if you have any comments, because I really don't know, really don't know what happened. I, you know, wished somebody would give me a list of allegations that, um, you know, relevant allegations, okay, relevant allegations. Okay, did he, uh, I don't know what he did. You know, did he um, commit adultery? Okay, for goodness sakes, did he commit adultery? I want to know. Okay, that is for me the bottom line. Did he commit adultery? Okay, and for me, that's the bottom line. Now there's inappropriateness that we all do, for goodness sakes. That's why we need to hold each other accountable. And if I'm a woman and somebody is not appropriate, I need to tell that person, hey, you are inappropriate, period. It doesn't have to be, I don't have to go to the next newspaper and let somebody know. So again, I will finish up today. But I was very, very, I'm still very um, disturbed by this. And I will continue to do my research. Uh, I'm very disturbed that um, these two pastors resigned, uh, especially this woman uh, pastor. And I don't remember what her name was, but she seemed to be extremely, um, very nice. And when she resigned, she, she cried. Um, you can probably find out too who that lady is, but... Anyways, um, these people, I mean, these new pastors having to sign because of all the stuff that's going on. It's, it's just unbelievable um, what they may have gone through. Um, 
because of the inappropriateness how things uh, you know were handled you know at Willow Creek and 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 probably these pastors and elders being accused you know of not doing more for these women but again put your comments on the comments and put your comments in the comment section and just let me know if you know more about it now I know people there's lots of women that jump on Bill Hyples and they put him down and they think oh how awful he is I don't need I don't do neither support Bill Hyples because I don't know neither those women I just know these women were inappropriate for reporting it and um, I will finish up hopefully good and um, talk to you later